Hey there, this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio trying to get you in frame. There we go. And I've got a pre-poured cup of colors and I'm probably going to add some more colors to that but I have a plan and I'll let you know as we go along what that plan is. It starts with putting my glasses on because I just did a painting without them and it was an unnerving process <laughs> that I don't want to do again. So for me I'm going to put some stripes in. I wish there was an easy, fast way to do this. I guess I can always just continue on using my OXO omelet turning, cat, omelet, omelet turning spatula. All right, so that should be somewhat simple and hopefully fast because I have 20 minutes before the camera shuts off at least and the first part of this, I'm not being perfect for sure. I'm just hurrying a little bit. Maybe I should stop hurrying. And let the paint go over the edge, cover the edges just a little bit because it's there. All right. So I don't know what's going to come of this, but I want to start with black and white. I'm going to wipe off my white. I'm going to go back in with my black. My intention is to cover with some stripes um, of paint colors out of that cup. But I'm contemplating right now whether or not I want to put that cup of colors into a flat pan so I can scoop them out or shovel them out. Because in the past I have used a small plastic shovel from the dollar store that came with a bucket for a buck. Can't beat it. Good to put your tools in too. Your tool, tool cleaning water goes in those little buckets just perfectly. And then you'll have less to put in that sand filled bucket to save your pipes from early demise and huge plumbing bills. Which means don't pour your paint water down the sink, toilet, shower, don't pour it in the bathtub. Just do something with it other than put it in the house plumbing. It's my recommendation and the recommendation of everybody who's ever had to pay a plumber. Yeah, it's okay if things aren't perfect. And I will touch up black and white edges later. And this is going in the bucket. I'm going to pull my Princeton Catalyst art tools back. I have, wait, I have a set of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, six. I recounted. I also have, I see that. I also have wet rags handy. It seemed to be pretty absorbent. I don't think it's going to make any difference. I am going to do what I said I was going to do. I'm going to put this paint in that dish. And then I think I'm going to take one of those catalyst tools and scrape out the remainder and put some more colors in there that I want in there. And that container's going in the bucket. I want a whole lot more gold because I haven't been getting my gold fix. I've just done a couple paintings and it just, it was okay. They were good, fine, but they weren't as satisfying as I needed them to be. I need to lighten up my orange. What else do I want to put in there? You can't see me, so you're just watching stripes. I'm so sorry. All right, so I'm gonna take my new little scoop. Stripe down. Ooh, I got a lump of paint drying at the bottom of that. All right, so let's switch. Let's go to shovels. Can I go to shovels? I can. canvas a little bit so I have a chance to fully utilize all the paint that seems to want to flow right out of that. I'm going to use my flat, my favorite, my first. My 
my first catalyst spatula was flat. Actually, I think I got the round one at the same time. Let's see if we can swipe those with a spatula and be happy about it. Yeah, that's not bothering me at all. I thought I wanted to put some more paint in there, but um, right at the moment I don't. I'll just use what I've got. Just going to play for a while. This is my warm up for my landscape. And I get ready to play and see if, what I can do with stripes. I have got more paint if I need it for over here, but in the meantime, actually, you know what? I can take some of that right on my spatula and put it right down there too. Finally, I'm in my groove doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Let's have a little more purple up there at the top. And come down this way. Grab some more. Fill in this missing little area. Actually, I'm really inclined. What am I inclined to do? I'm inclined to take the purple. Yes. Oh, yes. Ha, ha, ha. That color makes me so happy, I can't tell you. I wish there was just vats of it. Like, 50-gallon drums would be great. I think I'm not the first person to think that. But I might have been the first person to make it widely known that it was an awesome color. But it also, on the white, it works really well on white. Just, otherwise, it dries burgundy. So I'm really happy with all of that so far. And if I'm fast enough, my paint won't dry too fast. I don't know about these marks over here, but I can fake it out. And I can just keep dipping my spatula into my pan of paint and using it. And I could probably take a little white, where do I want it, and use that just for a little texture, just for a little differentiation in the, in the design. I'm not sure what's going to happen with that part of this yet. But what is important is that I'm having fun. And I'm sorry if I'm somewhat out of your view. This is a different kind of, a totally different kind of swipe. Not as much swiping going on as pushing and pulling with a spatula. But I'm really enjoying that, and I think I want some more up here. All my colors are behaving very nicely. And I don't mind this over here, but I think I need something. Yes. Something along that edge. Something a little black, maybe. Just sort of pushing it out, pulling it back, dragging it along, seeing where I feel like I need something. I'm loving this. I 
I'd like to have more purple up there, and I think I have to clean off my tool. Why do I? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm going to use it as a swipe tool right up there. Yeah, that's working for me. And right down here. And the paint's running over perfectly, covering my ends. Very pretty. I think I'm going to do a little more right there. I've done stripes before, but they were they felt a little more exact than this. We have a nice long pointed Princeton Catalyst tool. And get some of my colors out of the way. I want to steal some paint. I'm not sure about that, but it's okay. Got some over here to match it, actually. Right over the edge. I'm very happy with that. Very, very happy. <laughs> I deserve this. I really, really do. I put my time in. I'm going to take some of that beautiful paint and put it right somewhere here along this edge. Doesn't hurt my feelings a bit. And I've got plenty more where that came from if I want to cover more. Oh gosh, that's beautiful. Look at those lacy, pretty cells on the back. we got six minutes left, and uh, this might be an early one, which is okay with me. I'm going to put a little more black paint right over here, because I think I want to just rough it up a little bit. I think the thinner edge spatula works better for me. Just got a little white paint in there. I wonder if I can just do that. And I bet I can. I'm enjoying all of this. It's got that feeling of an abstract landscape I was looking for. It's a little, a little, a lot. A little, a little, a lot. It's a lot more abstract than that right now, but that's okay because I'm happy. I could put some uh, some cross pieces in, but I really like it just the way it is, so I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to take a moment here and there and see what I have to do on my ends, but mostly I'm a happy camper. A very happy camper indeed. So if you like what I do and my experiments and you want to help me keep doing it, I have places you can contribute to keep my studio and art supplies and help me pay next month's mortgage, which might be an issue pretty quick. Um, PayPal and Patreon links are under the description, under the video, along with my paint pouring recipe. An Instagram link at the bottom, a Facebook album that has wet and dry artworks for um, YouTube artworks, and also, and also, <laughs> brain cramps. Uh, da -dum -dum -dum. And also, and also, I sell my artwork, and you can buy it if you communicate with me. All you got to do is ask. I'm still thinking about running a contest. We've got a book coming out for Christmas, hopefully. Um, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm going to take a torch to it. I don't need a lot more cells than I have. I'm there was a hair on that. <laughs> I don't want a hair on my skewer. Just going to push that skewer right down to the end. Drag that paint. Hey, unstick. Okay, so I'm mostly covered and now I'm going to torch. I want to thank all the contributors that have kept me painting so far. I'll tell you how much I appreciate you. I really, really do. Thank you so much. 
and I appreciate everybody who comments also very much. Yes, I'm using my fingers. No, I don't care. Yes, I can see some canvas there, and I don't know why. I'm really happy I have my glasses on, though, this time. I'll tell you what. It's really hard to see without them. I see something. Something not like the other things. Alright, we're getting lots of little tiny cells. We, uh, we use a torch to pop the bubbles that are in the paint. The paint pouring mixture has GAC 800, just 10% or 20% to color mix thoroughly to keep the paint from cracking. And then after that, you can add your own pouring medium or you can do like I do and add Floetrol. And I double the mixture at that point. This is, um, this is making me happy. <laughs> This is definitely the precursor to a landscape that's going to be very similar. And thank you so much for joining me, all 31,000 of you plus. I want to say thank you for everything that you guys do for me. You inspire the heck out of me and I really appreciate it. Being able to come out here and have this be my job. And inspire you in return. And you do tell me you're inspired and that's a really nice feeling. Thank you very much. I got my edge to cut to touch up, but other than that, we're done early. And uh, sometimes a simpler process creates a pretty dramatic, impressive result. And for me, this is that. So I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. And I've got some work to do covering edges, but other than that, I'm gonna say this is Priscilla in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard, saying hello, you guys. Thanks for coming. Come again. Bye for now.